What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, we're going to be looking at exciting news that will inspire you. So these are going to be messages from the universe that will inspire you along your journey because everything in the world right now is so crazy that there needs to really be a shift in inspiration. And we know that inspiration is one of the focal points of communication with our higher self or source. And source, universe, whichever you choose to believe, communicates with us through inspiration. So I want to bring to you guys some exciting news that will inspire you for the rest of 2020. If you guys are new to the channel, shout out to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the Tarot Tribe. Obviously over here, we embrace a lot more in-depth messages. So if you're looking for a message that will feed your soul or enlighten you or encourage you along your journey, then this is going to be the channel for you. So welcome to the Tarot Tribe. Along with the Soul Journey webinar, the Tarot Priest Academy will be open for enrollment September 21st. So if you guys are looking to use tarot, whether that is to get answers to fulfill your dreams, clarity, knowledge, insight, or learning the cards just for general, then this is definitely going to be something that you guys want to look into. You can find the Tarot Priest Academy information down below in the description box and also on my website, thetarotpriest.com. So basically just follow me on Instagram if you do not. And then also check my description box below. All right, guys, I want to jump into this reading because I've been super hyped all morning and I figured that this would be the perfect time for me to kind of send my love to you guys and send my inspiration to you guys. And so right now, just energetically, I'm going to be pouring all of this love, all of this truth and the message that you guys need to inspire you. All right, let's hop into the four decks that we have below. We have four different hearts. Deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Again, remember the question is, what exciting news do you have from universe that will inspire you? All right, let's hop into today's reading. If you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in exciting news to come that will inspire you. First, I'm gonna get a few cards. I'm gonna switch it up because I want some more information on this feeling that I keep getting with you, deck number one. <laughs> I just wanna know what this is about. For deck number one, exciting news to come. Thank you. Last time. Okay, it must, it must be with something financially because we have a lot of worry around fin a financial situation and a decision that must be made. For some of you guys that have been waiting for a job opportunity, I'm feeling like there will be a couple of decisions that will have an offer for you. So some of you guys... There is some exciting news with job offers. Now, something that I'm hearing for you, deck number one also, is that there's some deeper insight that your higher self or your soul would want you to know. And that is to have both joy and stability. So that is a job that gives to you but also allows you to creatively express yourself is what I'm hearing specifically creatively express yourself and embody all of you. And so some of you are looking now, some of you have found jobs that have had offers, okay? But it's just not really exactly something that is gonna fulfill you. So I'm feeling that the exciting news is that this journey is getting ready to close out and a new one is getting ready to begin. So with the growth, you guys are going through a very growth stage. A lot of you really want things to happen right away, but I'm seeing that this is definitely going to be a journey for you. Okay. It says seek out a mentor or a guide, take baby steps as you grow, be willing to learn from others. So I know that it looks like things may not get to exactly where you want them to get to right away. Cause I'm feeling like a lot of dissatisfaction, a lot of worry, but there is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all of your details. 
So the exciting news is that I do feel like there's some type of passion or creative project that is going to be coming in for you, deck number one, that someone is going to inspire you to do. It could be through the media. I'm hearing like through social media. Leap of faith, believe in yourself, listen to your heart, do what gives you joy. So I do feel like there are going to be some signs closing out this year that really do inspire you through social media, through someone else's story, through someone else's journey. It's going to really provoke you to act. And so I'm feeling like there is exciting news to come about some type of project. Co-create, yeah, for sure. A lot of you have this inner wisdom that you still have yet to even tap into. There's so much more to know. So co-create. I do feel like something I'm hearing deck number one is just because you cannot see the magic does not mean it does not exist. Okay. A lot of these opportunities that you guys are waiting for are here, but I'm seeing that there is going to be something that excites you and inspires you to co-create and to create something. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, we have the Page of Wands. Again, this would be waking up the innocent child within you, getting back to when you were super excited about all of these things that you wanted to do. This is a, an innocent sense of feeling like you can accomplish and conquer so many things, and then eventually life gets a hold of us. We have to become adults. We have to grow up. And we kind of, our dreams get lost in this spew of things that we believe we have to do. And so I'm feeling like with the Page of Wands, something is going to come in um, and it's going to reignite you and it's going to have some type of correlation with your childhood. Some of you, for a few, because there's going to be a lot, uh, this could be dancing and something to do with music. Loyal heart. It's just something that's embedded within, within you. And some of you, it's also artistry. It could be branding, design. It could have something to do with jewelry. Could have something to do with interior design. It's some type of creative project that maybe you did as a child that still sticks around. You don't really know what to do with it. It's there. And so there's going to be definitely some inspiration coming in that's going to excite you. So we have loyal heart. This is an inner knowing. We have two uh, owls here. So this would be insight, inner knowing about you, your soul, your heart. And this, everything that you've been through that's been so heavy, especially this year, has taken you through a journey to kind of re reignite your passion. Okay. You've been resting. And if you haven't been resting, spirit is also saying like, that would be a great thing is to rest you know, take baby steps. Things are coming in just because you cannot see them coming in doesn't mean that they're far away. And some of you, I'm also feeling that they're saying that in order, you have the ability to create this life for yourself that is literally, it's, it's so beautiful the way that they're showing it to me, but there's more inner knowledge about that that is required that you should be seeking right now is, you know, what is my heart? What is my soul? What are the desires that I have? What dreams are instilled that still are there? But, you know, I kind of tuck them in the back because I'm getting older and, you know, you have to grow up and there's responsibilities. So there is so many things that are waiting to kind of fulfill you with all of this excitement. And so they're saying that start visualizing what it is that you want to happen. Yeah, the sun card. Yeah, things are definitely going to come in and really bring and shine some light on some things. But with the sun, this is just, again, the happiest card in the deck. This is an inner fulfillment that you're looking for. It's both external and internal. I'm seeing that a lot of you desire to have more success, more, more abundance, more money. Okay, let's just keep it real, more money. <laughs> And um, you're learning also to step outside of your comfort zone with money. Exciting news is that you are abundant. It is just who you are. It's a part of you. All right. So the sun means that there's happiness here for sure. I'm also seeing that some of you have this desire. You could be dreaming about this, but there's some type of connection with the forest, with some type of cabin looking 
um, areas here. We have a lot of this atmosphere, some by the lake. It's really just in nature. We have horses. So the river, the creeks, this is a place that your soul may be longing to go to. So if you see visions or things like this really do inspire you, then again, this is exciting. This should be exciting news because this is part of you, the sun. Okay. We have the night of Raphael, romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective, committed romantic relationships, being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. Okay. So some of you guys have someone coming in that really does have a lot of romantic feelings for you, or someone that's going to tell you that they have romantic feelings for you. Or if you're in a relationship, this would mean that this would be um, bringing romance and reigniting your relationship again, bringing life back to that. We also have loyal heart here in co-creator. Some of you guys, if you're in relationships and you feel like this could be your soulmate, then I do see that there is some type of coalition there. Now, for those of you who are single, this would be someone coming in with an offer or, offer or also an offer of just acknowledgement of how they feel. Five of Gabriel, a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience within yourself and those around you. So have patience with those around you and yourself. A lot of conflict that you guys may be involved in right now. But what I'm hearing very clearly is to work on more of being the observer of the situation. Okay, so you can take yourself out of it because a lot of you really don't want to be called with the drama. But I'm seeing that it could be some conflict around you um, and also have patience with yourself on this journey. We have, again, we've had patience here twice and growth, take baby steps as you grow. You're an empathic starseed. So again, the reason why I was feeling so heavy makes total sense. Empathic starseed absorbing what is not yours. So this drama, this conflict, this low vibrational energy, okay? Some of you guys may have friends that are literally, you know, it's been years and they're kind of doing the same thing. And you're, you're seeing yourself grow a little bit more and nobody's perfect, but even that could really make you feel bad or bring you back to a low frequency. So just remember that if, as an empathic star seed, you have energetic sovereignty. And I think I've talked about this before, but sovereignty again is power. You have the power of who you want to be. You have the power of what energy you want to be, whether it is I am happy or I am sad. You have the power. And so this empathetic person is, is you're observing what's around you. Drama with others, challenges that need to be resolved, lots of conflict, financial considerations for the future. Some of you may be cool now, but the future is just like, I don't even know. Deep cellular healing, physical and emotional healing. So also I'm hearing that the exciting news is everything that you're going through, all of this healing, there's never going to be a time again where you'll have to go through this. This is a one-time cleanse. So just take rest and allow it to kind of wash over you in time because I'm seeing that it's going to take time to kind of cleanse these, these deeper things that are going on right now in your life, these doubts, these beliefs, letting go. I mean, there's more to just letting go than people. There's letting go of thoughts. I have certain ideas that are not benefiting you. Okay. So with this physical and emotional healing, even if you're going through something, the inspiration is, look, this is temporary. Karmic relationships, polarity, soul growth, conflict. We have conflict twice. So some of this conflict is to trigger you to release it. That's also something that I'm hearing for you. Deck number one. So anything that is being conflicted, if you just take a step back, take yourself out of it, watch as the observer, you will see who needs to be there and who needs to go. Because you're going to see in 2020, taking people past it is not worth it. Taking people past it is not worth it. You also are becoming the unicorn. Infinite possibilities. You are the sovereign. That's the second time. The sovereign, the one in control, the one who says so. You're that one. And it says, 
of the seen and the unseen. So what you guys are learning right now, it's the polarity of balance. So it's the dark and the light, because again, we have polarity here and we have the seen and the unseen. It's the light and the dark. You're learning the balance of everything, okay? And the magic of love surrounds you. Beauty transforms you. Listen to the spirits of the light. Abandon the darkness. Go beyond the ordinary and become legendary. So this journey that you're going through is to create a legendary life. So this is not going to be just an ordinary template that you can get from anyone and say, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this and this is going to be perfect. If some of you guys are finding it hard to become inspired, they're saying to go back to the things you did as a child when you danced and the music was blasting, you didn't care, release yourself, be free uh, and understand that your life is not going to be like everybody else's. So a legend is someone who would be around for some time. So whatever it is that you're doing would be creating something or making a difference, even if it's in your family extensively in due time. So this exciting news of also that financial opportunity that's coming in for some of you guys, that the contracts of an equal give and take when it comes to a job opportunity that was also there before I started. But for the most part, you guys do have someone coming in. If not, someone is already there and there's newer heights to this relationship. It looks really beautiful. Again, it's going to make your heart flutter and the situations are going to sweep you off your feet. So you do have, it seems like someone around you that could be coming in. They're very close to you. Um, but you also have some conflict and everything that you're going through right now that you're observing is not even for you to absorb. So you're learning that you have a legendary life to live. And so there's an exciting new project that's getting ready to stir up those emotions and take you back to the child self that you used to be. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and exciting news that will inspire you. Obviously, this is a journey, but I see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like there are going to be certain things that inspire you throughout the rest of this year that are also going to bring inspiration to you. So don't forget to comment down below. So I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and exciting news that will inspire you. First, before I get started, I'm actually going to clarify um, to just see what's going on with you. Deck number two, because when I was shuffling through your cards, I was feeling some doubt. OK, so I'm really hoping that we have some insight, exciting news coming in for you. That will inspire you to keep moving forward, keep investing in your dreams. I don't know why I'm giving you a motivational speech right now. So, yeah, that's probably definitely needed. Um, you know, there are people around you that will support you that maybe might not have even opened up and expressed their support for you. But I am seeing that, you know, some of you, there's some doubt here. So d number two, can you give me deck number two, please? What's up with deck number two? Deck number two, page of swords. Uh, okay, I'm seeing some family things, some hurt, some some trust. You know, I was feeling that really heavily here. We have lots of swords, okay? Also, I feel like there may have been some things that have happened this year that kind of caught you off course. We do have the cancer sign here, so you guys could be a cancer. And then we also have the king of swords. So it is a family situation that I'm picking up for you guys. Um, but I am seeing that there might need to be some, some time to yourself with whatever situation this is that's causing you conflict. It seems like a family dynamic, but it can also be a friendship. It could be something at your job that's happening, but it's mental conflict. It's really creating doubt. Whatever the situation is, it's creating doubt. But today I'm going to bring you some exciting news. Okay. Friendship. So those friends, okay. That are pissing you off right now or whatever's happening, you know, things are being revealed. We have the seven of swords here and this is the betrayal card. You know, it's in reverse. I feel like things are going to change and shift and better friendships are coming in. More soul friendships are coming in. Um, and but you have to seek out your family. And, you know, sometimes people, we love them. We love our best friends. We love our family. We love the people that may not be moving at the same rate and may still be in drama or whatever it is that's conflicting to you. But there is a time and a place. So I am feeling like once you kind of take some space away from some of these situations that are creating some mental conflict, 
your soul family is going to come in. Your soul tribe will come in because remember, they're going to be operating on the same frequency. So they'll be in the same places as you when you decide to get out and go out. Deck number two. We also have angel of love. Seventh chakra. So we have the crown chakra and deceit. That's what I'm saying. Deck number two. This is so heavy, like things that have been happening. But I'm feeling like spirit is saying that all of these situations are creating better discernment for you to start listening to your instincts and being open to receiving from different people. Okay, because I'm seeing that friendships are coming in, but they're new, which means you would have to start all over and it's okay. And I do see that there could be some, some conflict with starting these new friendships, but with the crown chakra, this is about being open. Okay, being open to what the angel of love, not everybody will hurt you. Okay, that's what they're saying. We also have the 10 of Gabriel. Ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load. So everything that you guys are going through right now is taking you through a place of, it's it's almost like a maze, the way that they're showing it to me. And you're going this way and you're like, oh man, I really thought it was that way. And then you're going this way and you're like, wow, I really thought you were really my friend. like, Or I thought this business was going to last a lot longer. There are situations that are making you really question yourself. Why is the king of swords... Knight of coins, yeah, and a love situation too, okay? So there's just a lot going on here that I'm seeing. And what you're learning is unconditional love, and that is the hardest thing because, you know, that requires us to love people that even hurt us. But I'm seeing so much beauty in your future, so much more new friendships, new situations and new endeavors that are going to excite you. Working too many hours, trying too hard to please others is the very bottom. Trying too hard to please others, okay? So there are going to be people coming in, friendship coming in for you. Friendship, soulmates. Because I'm just really feeling like you guys are longing for some type of connection. But here's the thing. The deceit is also coming from your thoughts. Death number two. This is coming in very, very heavy for me. So be very careful of what you choose to believe. Make sure it's the truth, even if you don't want to hear it. Because I'm seeing that some of your judgment gets clouded with your thoughts. You get in your head a lot. And sometimes you kind of deceive yourself. There's a need of sense of isolation for clarity so that you can hear from source. So that you can hear from your higher self, your instincts. A need to kind of just place yourself in this just bubble of love. So things are changing at a cellular level, even though you don't see it. And the exciting news is that you have better friendships coming in because you will now have shed all of those doubtful beliefs that you had and will then be able to attract better friendships, better people. Okay. Knight of Ariel, trustworthy. Okay. Trustworthy. There is so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. So number one, make a plan for exactly what it is that you guys want to do because I'm seeing that you guys are all over the place. You're like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do this and I want to become this. And you guys have so many dreams and so many ambitions and they're just saying to choose one and make a detailed plan. And there's so much more life to live and time is not running out. So being watched over by someone kind, I also feel like you guys have a specific angel that is around you. Obviously, the angel of love. This is confirmation. This person here, you can see her. Okay. She's planting seeds of abundance. So an angel of love and an angel of abundance. So you guys do have something coming in. I feel like financially, we have both the knights here. It's just taking a while, okay? But it's coming in. You can start getting excited and start creating that vision board and, and start following people that inspire you, that influence you. There's nothing wrong with wanting material things. I have to say that as well. Some of you guys who are desiring to live that life of great material success, 
but mostly obviously being surrounded by people that love you and have the best intention is something that is where spirit is leading you, which is very exciting. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sign of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. So some of you, everything that was going on, this storm, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe because you can relieve yourself. It's almost over. The storm is almost over. Literally, that's what I'm hearing for you guys. The storm is almost over. Make new plans. Relocate. So all of this that has happened has opened up your crown chakra. You're starting to want to think about things differently. Like, oh, should I move there? Or should I do this? Or maybe I could do this. It's opening you up to more things that you can experience here. Three of Michael. Release the past. This is the heartbreak card. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So give this situation time. Also, that's conflicting you mentally. Give it some time to unfold. The truth will be revealed. Is what I'm hearing. Come to the edge. I love it. She's dancing in a white gown. She's coming to the edge, understanding that the storm is almost over. You can start celebrating. And even though it's going to get ramped up a little bit more closing out this year, just know that if it's the worst is almost over. So you can celebrate. You can dance. Okay. Observer. Something I was saying earlier. Observe. Take yourself out of the situation and observe it. Don't make it personal because that's where the conflict comes from in the deceit. Remember the difference between your instincts and your intuition. Your intuition and your instincts are one. So the difference between your instincts and your thoughts is that your instincts are an inner feeling and your thoughts are a thinking. It comes from your mind. So there is a need to separate and be the observer. Star bathing, light body, transmission, activation. So you guys are being activated. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Can you feel it? Can you guys feel the activation? Please tell me this deck number two, comment down below because this activation, everybody is feeling it. My will to thy will, micromanaging the universe. But what it's doing is it's connecting you deeper with yourself than you've ever been before. Inner earth, you'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. The past must end and the new beginning must begin is what i'm seeing for you deck number two so basically everything that's happening the exciting news is that it's bringing you closer to yourself and it's almost over the storm is almost over you will survive this it's going to give you more insight and clarity within yourself yeah the nine of wands this is the wounded warrior just feeling like you guys have been through a lot and really looking forward to some exciting things. Listen, it's almost over. The friends that, that need to be there will be there. The people that need to be there, they will be there. But make sure that you're also following your heart and not deceiving yourself with being in your thoughts or being in your emotions about certain things and, and just knowing unconditional love. And some things are not for you. Some battles are not for you. So we have the five of swords, another inner battle conflict, the five of pentacles, relocation, moving, feeling like you've been at rock bottom. Maybe people haven't been there as much as they said they would have been. You know, this could have happened this year. This could have been recently. Maybe this is something you're still dealing with. But I'm just seeing that even with the seven of swords here and we have the seven of swords here. This is like politics. This is just people playing the part. OK, so there is a need to segregate yourself kind of into your own space. Um, and even when I say that, I don't mean just physically. I mean, like just mentally with with how much you're consuming these um, these painful thoughts that maybe are still there because there's so many things to be excited about. This is coming to an end and this is very, very heavy energy. But we have the lion. We have the lion. You have within you all the courage you need. This is teaching you strength. This is teaching you how to let go of thoughts that are no longer serving you. So the exciting news is that you were wrong. 
that's the exciting news. That your life is actually going to get better. So all of those doubtful thoughts, yes, that's the thoughts that basically encourage us to believe that maybe things won't get better. Maybe I'll never find this person. Maybe I'll never have this. Maybe I'll never live this life. Maybe, well, that's what the good news is, is that you were wrong those times. This is a higher calling. Let go of the past and reclaim your majesty. This is a higher place that you're going. It requires you to shed these things. You will find success and contentment with those by your side. They, the people who need to be there will be there. And sometimes, you know, we want these people to be there and they don't show up. But we understand that those who are connected to us on our journey in that path, in that time, will be there. Make noble choices for your life and your tribe. So it seems like you guys are raising people behind you. You could have children. You don't have to, but you could want to influence the youth to do something. But there is this higher calling. And you know what's interesting is we didn't even get time to get into this card because of all of this conflict here. It was so hard to find the positive things. And I feel like that's also what spirit wants you guys to focus on. And that is focus on the things that are going right. Focus on the good health that you do have. Focus on the life that you still have. Focus on those things and allow them to excite you for the better future to come. If something is ending, that just means that something new is beginning. So let that be something that fulfills you, that excites you, and that inspires you, deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading. I know it feels like you're going through a lot, but there's so many things to look forward to. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of feedback to you guys. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number three. If you guys chose deck number three, this is your exciting news that is going to come in and inspire you. Anxiety? That's not exciting. Hostilities? Oh, man. Six chakra? Okay. Partnership. All right, so if you guys chose deck number three, and you're worried about these words, there's nothing to be worried about. This is just about seeing things with your third eye. So all of the things that are creating anxiety and all of the things that are bringing hostilities into your life, it is time to sever them if it's causing anxiety. Knight of Michael, strong, committed, intellectual, diligent. Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotion, sudden changes. So there is something that I feel like that is going to inspire you to leave a situation. Okay, we have the Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity, exactly, and inspiration. Okay, so everything that's going on in your life that's occurring right now or whenever you're watching this video around this time, it is because there is a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration that's coming in. So in order for you to be able to receive this, there are some things that you're going to have to sever. Let's get to the tarot. But what's going on in deck number three? What's going on in deck number three? Exciting news. Yeah, it's making way, making room for true friendships and true partnerships. So it's like there's nothing to be sad about when it comes to the ending of some of the things that you may have to sever. A lot of you are evolving very quickly. Some of you I'm seeing this year, you kind of just like have been awakened to a lot of the things that you may have never even seen before. So all of this is exciting news in the sense that you are getting set up for the life that you are desiring to live. The two of cups, the right relationship for you, the right job for you. So it's exciting to know that when things are ending, that new things can begin in your life. And so it's about embracing these new things um, that are coming in. Exciting news for deck number three. I also feel like some of you guys are hoping for certain situations in your life. Take it how it resonates. Could be job, love, could be with yourself. And something that's not happening soon enough or fast enough, I feel like you could have a lot of hope around it. Um, you're waiting for something, deck number three. 
What are they waiting for? Okay. Okay. So you're waiting for something to come in that is tangible, some type of offer, some type of opportunity. And I feel like those of you who are waiting on the news, for those that receive and you find that maybe it's a no for a job situation, promotion, or something that you're looking for, just see that as a new direction because I do feel like the universe is setting you up for more abundance in your life. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Yeah, there's going to be something better. That's what I'm hearing. Something better, even in a relationship. So for those of you who are single and uh, if you're dealing with a situation that maybe you thought was going to be the one, it was going to be the right one, there's something better. Be open to um, someone coming in that's going to match your flow, match your style. And so all of this hostility is not really hostility because once it's severed, it's gone. And so that's what you guys are kind of learning right now with the Empress. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. So some type of inspiration is going to come in from someone who may say, hey, what's that thing that you're working on? Or can I be a part of what you're working on? Um, or this will be a good team for you. I'm seeing some type of teamwork or partnership that's coming in that's going to bring some inspiration, a new opportunity. Some of you guys who had to be rerouted through rejection of no's and things that maybe you've been looking for are still on the verge of waiting for, there is definitely something better here with the Ace of Wands twice. So there will be multiple opportunities coming very closely for you guys. The moon, the opportunity to improve your plans. So right now, what I'm hearing is some of you need to make up your mind with what it is that you want, okay? Because the universe cannot manifest if the universe does not know what you want. Some of us who are saying, uh, you know, I kind of want that, but I don't know if I want that. For instance, if you want to manifest a car, but you can't decide on if you want black or white, then you're just going to be in limbo until you make a decision or to be open to anything. So I am seeing that your plans need to be adjusted for where you're going. We have Aquarius energy on the board. We have Libra energy I'm picking up and we also have Leo energy that I'm getting here. Pisces energy. Okay, so some of you need to make plans that will have luxury, luxurious and abundant resources. Unfinished symphony, number 10. But there are still unfinished business. Anything that's keeping you from flying is a hostility. A never-ending story. Some of you guys are on a cycle and it's going around and around and around, but Spirit is saying that the exciting news, once again, is that there is going to be a new beginning if you allow it. Star family, you're part of a team of souls. Call in support. Two of swords, yeah, making a decision. Making a decision, and I'm also hearing for you, deck number three, you don't have to do it alone. So there is going to be someone who comes in and helps you, whether it's getting the right job, the right opportunity. As long as you're in alignment, what does in alignment mean? Just simply following your soul every day, following what excites you, follow, following what inspires you, what you love to do. And in that energy flows good things happening. And when you're in that frequency, you don't worry about what's going to come in. You just know that things will happen in due time. But we have the Two of Swords and the Two of Swords twice. So this is a decision that needs to be made. What is this about? <clears throat> queen of Swords and a Queen. Two different people manifested. Man, what do y'all got going on? Deck number three. Wow. Wow. There's some relationship situations here that I'm picking up for you, deck number three. And so what I'm seeing is the insight and the clarity that you're looking for with a specific person. I'm seeing that you're going to get that clarity. So this is a lot of like love in relationship situations. And so I do see that there is another person that you're not even seeing, but I am seeing multiple people here. Okay. So a decision between somebody or someone or a certain job that makes you feel inspired or makes you feel like the manager, whatever it is, there's some type of decision that needs to be made. And what they're saying the outcome is, is that it's all a part of your growth, life lessons, soul growth, study, and higher learning. 
So everything that you're going through is also kind of pushing you to make a decision. All right, let's see what else we have here. Wisdom. Let your head and mind reach the stars, yet keep your feet grounded on earth. Listen to the ancient wisdom in your soul. The ancestors speak through you. You know much. So everything is also giving you more knowledge. But again, guys, with the seven of cups, indecisiveness. So the exciting news is that as soon as you make your decision, which I am seeing, this is Virgo energy, but the hermit, you're going to take some time to think about some of these decisions, arranging people in your life. The exciting news is that you have a lot to choose from, yes, but you also have a lot in store as far as people that will fulfill you the way that you're looking to be fulfilled, whether that's in a relationship and then also employment, jobs that will fulfill you. So this is about you. So for the first time in some time, from what I'm hearing, is that you are focusing on making decisions for you. So all of these hostilities that are creating anxiety is because and due to the lack of decision making. And know that you have help. You have help on the way. You have opportunities on the way. And you also have a significant love connection that is also here. All right. Next up, we have the dragonfly magic. I embrace my transformation. I courageously let go of the past. And then I'm also hearing for you guys to get excited about your future. Get excited about the new changes that are occurring in your life that you're manifesting because you're open to new things. This is part of the higher learning, but this is also part of the magic of the nature that is in you. You are brilliant and you are blessed. So this is seeing beyond the anxiety beyond the hostilities that are happening, which is why we have the third eye here. So with the third eye and everything that's occurring, it's like you have the ability to see the light in the world. And spirit is saying, use it. This is just a pit stop. So if you guys did choose deck number three, this is your reading and it is a sign that the universe is connecting with you, allowing you to see that there are exciting things to be grateful for. There are things to feel inspired about, new things coming in, inspiration, hope. Hope that there could be something different. Hope in the world, hope in yourself, hope in your family, hope in your relationships. Okay, so getting excited about those things, allowing that to inspire you, this new vision that the universe is giving you, whether it's in dreams, pay very close attention to your dreams. You guys are going through a soul growth right now. You should be paying very close attention. You are literally in class every day. You're in earth school. This is a classroom setting, life. So paying attention and being observant so that you can then see the light. And it is kind of hard to do that when so much is happening, but that's what your third eye is here for. So stay excited about that by seeing beyond what you see here. See beyond what you feel like can be. It's even bigger than you can even imagine. So that's what I'm hearing, deck number three. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. Keep your head up, focus on the light, focus on the love in your heart and the love and the inspiration that is here to come. Deck number three, don't forget to comment down below so that we can uplift you and encourage you if you guys need it. I'm moving on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and exciting news to come that will inspire you. Receive, be open to receiving goodness. Believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you very soon. So it looks like you guys have something coming. A broken heart. What? No, of course, this is past energy. This is what we leave behind. We have rest and rejuvenation. So some of you guys are exhausted. Be open to receiving good things. I'm feeling like some of you may be a spa, maybe some type of rejuvenation that you can take your guys' self to. I'm seeing that there is some self-pampering coming. So get inspired about that. And I also see for some of you guys, Maybe someone around you is going to be offering to um, give you something. So I do see some type of gift. If you guys are in a relationship, it could be celebrating your anniversary. 
could be a celebration coming. So some of you guys down below, you can comment. The Wheel 10, New Beginnings, End of Delays. A change in direction that offers happiness. So good things are coming after this change that you guys are having to make. Some of you guys may be looking for homes. Some of you guys could be shopping for, uh, for homes, looking to relocate, uh, looking to end certain things that keep starting and stopping, starting and stop, stopping with the wheel, looking for something new to express. We also have Aquarius energy, which is the star card. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. All right, guys, let's actually get your guys a stone there. Clarify some of what's going on for deck number four in exciting news. We're only going to be taking upright cards. So exciting news for deck number four. Deck number four. All right. So we have 10 of cups at the very bottom. So I do feel like something is coming to completion. There is definitely some type of celebration I'm seeing. Okay. It could be graduation. could be promotions. Ten of cups. There's a lot of exciting news to come for you guys. Queen of Swords. So yeah, this is definitely would be some type of promotion. Uh, good communication coming in, like an email, something sent to you. The lovers. We also have Gemini energy. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. So some of you are definitely experiencing some type of relationship could be an on and off for those of you. There, it's only a few of you guys with the uh, the delaying emotional commitments. Okay, let's get that energy, please. Something that maybe has walked away, started again for those of you. Um, give me a card for them. Yeah, King of Swords. This person is not ready. Okay, so the exciting news is that now is the time to give to yourself. Look at all these major arcana cards. The exciting news is that you can be happy without anybody. You can be happy by yourself. There's a difference between being alone and lonely. Okay, because I am seeing some type of sorrow or some feeling some type of sadness that maybe some of you guys are celebrating alone this year. Some birthdays may have passed. You could have been by yourself. Okay, let's see what else is here. We have the page of Michael. Truthful perspective, analytical and blunt. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So some of you guys are trying to make decisions that involve you um, signing paperwork, making decisions that will bring in more money. Some of you, I'm hearing investments. Okay, let's see why the page of Michael's here. The lovers again, Gemini energy. So this is something that maybe you guys... Maybe for some of you, you guys are moving in with someone or thinking about roommating with someone or there's some type of paperwork, but I am seeing some type of connection. It could be also with your job. The lovers could be a situation that you love your job. So it could be employment or couple. And it's going to make you happy, whatever it is. Just make sure that everything is in the contract correctly is what I'm getting for, for that. All right. For the flexible, you're getting ready to see that you know, just when you thought you couldn't bend anymore, that you're still here. You still have the strength. We have the three of swords at the bottom of the deck. It's like, yes, there are things that did not work out this year, but you're seeing your flexibility and the strength and the courage that you do have. So something is getting ready to happen in your life where you're going to see how far you've come. Some of you are going to have revelations of just looking back, listening to songs from 10 years ago, feeling like, dang, like I came far. I remember I used to play this song in high school. You know, like a lot of you are having these realizations. Four of Swords. Yeah. Kind of finding this balance with yourself. Um, we also have the Seven of, of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, there is some type of like maybe some hurt still. Because this would be someone who would betray or break some loyalty. So that's what you're learning is like, look, you don't have to be afraid now of commitment with other things. Just overlook the paperwork and make sure that everything is exactly what you want. Round and around. So this is, again, the cycle. 
We have 25. A new earth, it's happening, holding the vision and weight of the world, boundaries, let it go. It is not yours to carry. So the exciting thing is that you are letting things go for a more effortless life. It's not for anything. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. And what is that about? Yeah, you're learning. You're learning. And everything that you're learning now is necessary because your future, there's so much balance. There's so much love here for yourself. Again, I keep hearing taking care of self for yourself. Okay. Building something stable for yourself financially that will bring you fulfillment. That's where your harmony is. And that's very exciting. The lovers is not just about falling in love with another person. This is a love for your life, a love of experiencing and exploring, tuning in, discovering more about yourself. Hell, I'm still learning things about myself to this day. We all are. It's a journey. And when we stop looking and when we stop trying to discover it, it becomes very boring, very trapped, very confined. And I'm seeing that that's what you guys are breaking through. And so there's exciting things that are happening that are in store for you. The wheel, it's just that some of these things had to be broken. Some of this had to be let, let go of. You know how Southwest says two bags, fly free? Well, some of you guys had five. Okay, they can't come to the next journey. And so it's so inspiring to see that where you're going. You will look back and see how far you've come, how far you've grown. Okay, and I'm also seeing friendship for some of you. Okay, friendships, better friendships. Butterfly, rebirth. So if you guys have been seeing butterflies or owls, that's significant. I'm seeing rebirth. You can reinvent yourself. Open to the rewards of change. Ten represents change. New beginnings. End of delays. Everything that's been on delay, you made a decision and you're making decisions that are now picking up the pace to a new beginning. So now they're starting to pick up because you're open to receiving. That's the biggest thing that I'm seeing with you guys is that the change is to be open to receiving good things to happen and not having to work so hard to get them. So there's a lot of inspiration that's coming through today to share that you have the brilliance of a mind and a heart to share with the world. Love every part of your journey. So all of this is part of the making of you becoming the butterfly. And we know that that's a process. And the biggest thing that they're saying is focus on where and who you're becoming, where you're, be where you're going, but who you're becoming and where you will be when you become who you're meant to be. It's, it's being in tune with one. So that's exciting because you're a star keeper. What? I'm a star keeper? Yes. What is a star? The light. What is light? The love. Truth. What is your light? So cosmic ancestors seed the light by staying grounded. There's also this need of understanding that good things happen and bad things happen. But not to focus too much on the thing, the bad things that are happening, that so much that you're overlooking all of the good you could be receiving. And that's exciting news because things are changing. Things are shifting. Nobility. Celebrate your accomplishments with humility. You are crowned with success. Powerful forces guide you. So what you're here to do is not just about you, deck number four. Some of you could have children. Some of you could have a purpose that involves others. Let's see what this butterfly is here for, for deck number four. Temperance, yeah, Sagittarius energy. We also have the page again. Research. Look closely, okay? Look closely at the blessings that, are, that you have. Deck number four is what I'm hearing. You are crowned with success. These powerful forces that are guiding you give you the ability to conquer challenges 
limitlessly. So when you tune into yourself, the exciting news deck number four is that you become the greatest version of yourself, being able to live the life that you're intended to live, a life of freedom from what I'm seeing and a life of love in receiving good things to happen to you more than just like on celebrations, but all the time. So overall, one more message for deck number four for their blessings coming their way. Yeah, look at this. Love, so much love, so much love, so much love. You guys are not going to even see it, but be open to seeing it. And, and that takes time and patience. And they're saying, as you're being open to see it more and you have moderation of what could go right versus what could go wrong, you have more of the feeling and thoughts and focus on what could go right, more of a moderation, you come into tune with yourself again, Sagittarius energy, temperance, you become one, king of cups. Okay, so as these cycles are closing out, start getting excited about this rebirth. You have the ability to reinvent yourself. Imagine if you can wipe your entire identity and start all over. How would you reinvent yourself? That's basically what Source is saying to you guys. So comment down below your guys' answer. So if you guys did happen to choose deck number four, you can also comment down below if you want some words of inspiration. But in the meantime, I am out. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Until next time, love and light to you all.